Yeah. One hand off I have her. Yes. <laughs> Great. That's awesome. Welcome back to Sister Circle yes. Live. We are going back to our roots today mm -hmm. here on Sister Circle. And we're excited to partner with our friends at AfricanAncestry.com to trace our lineage back to the motherland. A mm -hmm. few weeks ago, we all took a sample DNA test and sent it in. And today we get the results. Mm -hmm. Ooh, with us now is Dr. Gina Page, president of AfricanAncestry.com. Yes. Wow, so thank you so much for being here. We're all very excited. Yes. I know, I saw you yesterday. Yes. <laughs> now I'm excited. Yes, yes, and it's always very emotional. It's going to be a very emotional time yeah. for, for each of us, but let's talk about the science. How are you able to trace our roots mm -hmm. back yeah. to it? The motherland. So when we got here, we lost everything. Yes. We lost our names, our languages, everything. We're the original victims of identity theft. Yeah. Mm. But you we gotta say it. Okay? Mm. But we didn't lose our DNA. Right. Mm. And so we can look at specific parts of your DNA, mm -hmm. compare it to DNA in Africa among Africans, and determine matches. Wow. wow. Just like that. Yeah, I'm really trying to find who I am because my <laughs> mother look <laughs> Well, my mother's mother, my grandmother was white and black. Well, white and Creole, well, black. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm curious to know, like, we talk about a lot about African roots, mm -hmm. but do you also find that a lot of people are, um, they have other types of background, like, you know, from different nationalities. Yeah, mm -hmm. so inherent in us being African American mm -hmm. means we're mixed. Yes. Yes. None of us is 100% anything. Right. Mm -hmm. And so we do find that the average black person has African ancestry and European ancestry. Wow. Yeah. Mm. Well, Dr. Gina, can you tell us really how is your test different? Because I've done this before. I want just you know want to surprise you with that. <laughs> so I really just want to see if they're going to add up and mm. say the exact same thing. Mm. Now, what makes yours so different? Mm. Ours is completely different. Mm. So the test that you took uh -huh. and that you see on television. Uh -huh tells you how much African you have, mm. how much European or Native American yes. have. We already know that we're not 100% African. Right, right, right. What you guys want to know is where in yes, Africa exactly. did I come from? Yes. Who are the people? What are the traditions and values wow. and practices that make us who we are? And that's what African ancestry That's so fun. Oh, I love that. I want to know. And it tells how much, yes. too? No. Right. Oh, it doesn't yes. tell us how we much. We don't do that. We tell who. you who. who. Okay. And the one that I did was, um, it did focus in on the percentage. Mm -hmm. right. It really did. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. And the average black person, like I said, is 75% African, 25% European yeah. on average. Wow. So, so I get to go first. Yeah. Kiana goes first. Average. Yes. Oh, God. All right, Kiana. When the results are in. So we found something very interesting for you. Of course you Let's did. see the results. <laughs> okay. Uh-oh. Oh. So you share ancestry. Uh -oh. You on. share ancestry with two countries, people living wow. in two countries today. The first group is the Balanta people living in Guinea-Bissau today. And you know, the Balanta means those who resist. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The Mende people... Don't that explain everything about Mende! <laughs> that's it, that's it, that's it. <laughs> the second group that you share ancestry with was on the Amistad. Mm -hmm. The Mende yeah, people the, living in Sierra Leone today. Wow. So they weren't about captivity. They were about turning the ships around. Yes. And I know yesterday that you talked about the Gap Tooth tribe. Mm -hmm. So I can't say that there is an official Gap Tooth tribe. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> However, uh, we do know from, from wow. a very um, well-known academic, Sylvia Boone, that Mende women treasure the gap mm -hmm. between the teeth. Mm -hmm. And wow. it's considered a very high standard of beauty. So much yes, so beauty. that they often... Split their teeth. Uh, yeah, they, they d revise their teeth to make the gap mm -hmm. bigger. Mm -hmm. wow. wow! That's deep! You go over there, we're gonna have like 50 husbands. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, oh, we're shy. Already. Let's yeah, see your results. All right, here we go. So you share ancestry with the Fula yes. people living in Guinea-Bissau today, who are also considered the Fulani. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. And Fulani. the Fulani are nomadic people. Mm-hmm. So you'll find Fulani all across the continent of Africa, but the match we found specifically for you is in the country of Guinea-Bissau. Mm-hmm. And you know, the Fulani women are considered among the most beautiful wow. in Ooh. Africa. And they wear these gorgeous earrings. Mm-hmm. You've probably seen wow. them. And so the gold pretty. is a symbol of nobility. Wow. Yes. So nobility and beauty for you, sister. Oh my God. <laughs> Be noble and beautiful. Sounds not right. Man, better say Wakanda. Oh, y'all better say Wakanda. When we come back, it's Quan and Selena. Oh yeah, we're excited, and we are ready. Stay right where you are. This is only gonna get more exciting. Yes. Oh wow. Come on, noble. We are back with uh, Gina Page of African, AfricanAncestry.com, mm-hmm. who is helping us trace our roots back to Africa. Mm-hmm. So I want to know this. How come <laughs> Kiana and Rashawn both had the same territory? Like, how, how does, how, is that common, where we're mostly from the same territory? Well, we all came from, most of us came from West Africa, okay? Right? okay? Mm-hmm. And then the countries that we find the most often are Nigeria, mm-hmm. Cameroon, Sierra Leone, uh-huh. and Guinea-Bissau. Mm-hmm. So, that there's a good sense. chance. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. 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 So, Quad, we're going to do you next. Oh, okay, you I'm ready? I'm ready. I'm Let's excited. see your I'm results. Excited. I'm really just trying to see what was happening with that other sister. <laughs> 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 but I'm excited. Wow. We wow. found your maternal ancestry, mother to mother to mother to mother, in the country of Nigeria today. Really? Yes. And Nigeria is the most populous country on mm-hmm. the continent mm. of Africa. Mm-hmm. We found yes. your ancestry right. in two groups. So the first group is the Yoruba, Yoruba people. And the Yoruba are a highly spiritual yeah. people mm. whose reli- spiritual practice lives today across mm-hmm. the continent, as well as in Brazil mm-hmm. and Cuba. Uh, the, the Orisha Oshun, mm. you may have heard of. She's the goddess of the, the waters mm-hmm. and love and fertility. Mm-hmm. We also found your ancestry fertility. among the... Mm. Oh, did I say something? <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I just, I just, no, I just, I just, I just, <laughs> We just know she wanted a daughter one day. We're in Nigeria. (laughs) (laughs) The other group we we found your ancestry among is the Hausa people living in Nigeria. Okay, tell me a little bit about that. And the Hausa are the business people of the culture. They're found in northern Nigeria, (laughs) and yeah, that's what they're known for. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Yes, that's good. That's good. (laughs) Yes, that is. Okay, Selena. Wakanda. Uh, All right. Let's see your which African nation we found your ancestry in. I love this. Wow. You are very unique. Mm -hmm. So (laughs) just in case y'all was wondering. We found your maternal ancestry in the country of Central African Republic. And as you can see, that's a landlocked country. It's not on the coast, but it is a country that did contribute to the transatlantic slave trade. And the people Mm. that you share ancestry with are called the Biaka people. Mm. And I know that you were looking for some musical connections, and we found them. So music is a very um, key element in the social and spiritual community among the Biaka, and they're semi-nomadic. So their music has to do with vocals, primarily. Mm. Oh. If, when and if they use instruments, it's small things that they can carry easily mm-hmm. and move around, but that music focuses on the voice. Mm. Wow. Well, <laughs> and then there's that. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. I do want to go back to why do we have to, why is it just on the mother's side? I know Mm -hmm. that we're getting this particular test. Yes. If you could just explain that. So we chose to give you the test for the mother's line. Okay. Okay. For a few reasons. One, the maternal line comes back African most often. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. When we trace maternal results, maternal ancestry, those results come back African 92% of the time. Mm. We also have a test that traces paternal ancestry, father to father to father to father. Father, but only men can take that test. Oh my goodness. Because they have a Y chromosome. 
We don't have Y chromosomes. We don't want Y chromosomes. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. So when we want to learn about our father's lines, our mother's father's lines, then we need a male in the family to take that test. Mm -hmm. And it only comes back African 65% of the time. Really? 35% of the time, those results are European not African. Oh, so I didn't want to come on here and I have a big chance either. of telling you all where you're from in Europe. I wanted to celebrate Africa today. Right. Yes. 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 Now why is that? That's very interesting. Is, could it be that somebody was visiting the... <laughs> yes, it is. It's, <laughs> Thank you. it's because of the, the history right. of the and the behaviors mm -hmm. of the slaveholders and the slave traders when they uh, father children mm. with enslaved women, the fathers passed along their European Y chromosome That's to their true. sons. So My whether God. you look like me or you, mm. Rashawn, we mm. could still have a European yeah. paternal ancestry. Man, mm. My goodness. I know, I I go ahead, Kwan. <laughs> and I'm from Nigeria. Yes. yes. Oh, I gotta go over there. See what's yes, going on. New girls. I'm from down to the center. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> in the middle. Well, this has been fantastic. Gina, we appreciate you oh. uh, doing this. And if you want to find out more, AfricanAncestry.com. Make sure you log on to that webpage today and you can feel like we feel. We feel empowered. You guys feel yes. empowered? Oh, yes. Yes. Cool. Welcome yes. to the yes. African Ancestry fam. Thank yes. you. Yes.